What's going on, YouTube? Well, an interesting topic has been brought up to me, and actually, quite frankly, very well asked to me a lot since I've made the video. I made a video on alcohol and anxiety, right? But someone actually told me to make a video on what it feels like to have an anxiety attack. And I'm just going to tell you right now, if you've never had one, consider yourself the luckiest person alive, because I'm going to tell you, I would not wish what I have. It's not as bad anymore, but uh, I would not wish that on the worst person in the world, okay? Um, just to get this out there right now, um, to tell the difference between an anxiety attack or is it a heart attack, that was my case scenario, and come to find out I'm not alone. Millions upon millions of people have the same type of experience I had when I first had a panic attack. And actually, I come to, I'm sorry guys, it's just hot in here, that humidity is terrible. Very unnormal for this time of year. But uh, what I want to get out there right now is I'm not a doctor. I have no experience in the medical field whatsoever. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. If you really think that something's wrong, stop this video and do what you got to do. Seriously, please do. Um, because my video is not going to save you. It's just going to waste time if that is indeed what's going on. So let me just tell you my experience between if, is it an anxiety attack or a heart attack. And I'm not going to lie, a lot of my information that I'm going to tell you guys, I have been told either by a doctor or I've looked up myself. That was the uh, critical mistake I did when I first time I was having an anxiety attack because I have a heart problem the way it is. 30 years ago would, would have been a big deal. Not anymore. It's uh, aortic valve leakage. Come to find out millions and millions and millions of people have it. It's a same day surgery in and out. It's not even that big of a deal anymore. Um, I see for a doctor once a year. They just says, you know, just keep following up once a year and we'll do what we have to do in, in order to fix it if we ever have to. Um, but off subject there, but um, so an anxiety attack and a heart attack. Um, I don't know what it's like to have a heart attack. I can tell you what it, I thought was what it felt like because when you look it up on the internet, I had all the classic symptoms. Um, and I find out that panic attacks or anxiety attacks, apparently there's a difference between the two, but I don't know, we're just gonna say anxiety attacks. But uh, come to find out, a lot of, they do share a lot of common symptoms. And I'll tell you what I experienced. Now, I always knew the classic symptom of a heart attack or what I got told you know, growing up, you know, you get this sudden crushing chest pain, like an elephant sitting on your chest, your arm will start hurting, uh, nausea, vomiting, jaw pain, all this stuff, right? Well, it's kind of funny because it didn't, it wasn't a dramatic scene like that. It was more of, I, my symptoms started really, really slow. And, and come to find out with an anxiety attack, the symptoms are very, very common. I've said that before, but it, I, I was amazed because I've never had this happen to me before. I had my first anxiety attack probably when I was about 22, 23, I want to say, when I was drinking real heavy, um, and I tried to stop. I, I noticed it would always, I'd always get that feeling when I was trying to stop, is when I was usually starting to get that feeling. But this day, just, I wasn't, you know, usually if I'm getting anxious, I can tell, you know, okay, I need to calm down. Well, I, I wasn't really anxious about anything. I was just thinking about, you know, bills and, you know, what do I got to do today or how am I going to get my van running again? Just kept, I just kept thinking about stuff all day long. And then I was at a friend's house, luckily, um, because I don't know what what, to, what I would have done. I, I did end up going to the emergency room, but come to find out nothing was wrong, thank the Lord. But uh, I uh, the first thing I noticed was I got extreme fatigue. And I'm not talking like a lack of sleep. I'm talking like you just got done running a marathon. You know, if it's a hot, sweaty day, kind of like how it is here, but if you just got done like running like 10 blocks down the street, that kind of tiredness. So I was like, okay, this is weird. I had no pain, so I didn't think nothing of it. I said, okay, well, maybe it's just... Then I started throwing up, okay? Then I started uh, getting a headache, okay? Then, it, so it, 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 here, here's what I'm saying. It didn't start as the classic symptom because I knew what to look for. I always heard of what it was like. But uh, next thing I know... I start getting dizzy, my, and this is where I started feeling the pain, about, I'd say 15, 20 minutes into it, it happened real fast. So I started getting dizziness, like I said, I, I threw up a couple times, and I was really tired, and I just, I was thinking, okay, this is weird, I've never had this experience before, what is going on? So I started thinking about it, of course, so that made it worse. 
Next thing I know, my, my arms started tingling. Not my left arm, but both my arms started tingling. It was like a shoot in pain. It was going through both my arms. And it, it, and it came up into my chest eventually, but it didn't start there. It started out in my arms, and I'm thinking, okay. And I started getting real pale, according to what my friend said. And uh, then my chest started hurting. And this is the first time in my life I felt a pain like this. It wasn't, it was just a ton of pressure. It was like, it was like somebody was taking my chest and just going like this with a vice. And elephant on the chest is probably, is a little exaggeration, but if you can imagine that, same type of feeling, if you can imagine that, like something real heavy sitting on your chest. And that's when I started getting nervous because I knew, okay, I'm like, okay, my chest is now starting to hurt. My arms are tingling. Um, I'm getting dizzy. I'm lightheaded. Um, you know, I'm getting kind of sick. I've been sick. You know, I just, I, I was freaking out at that point. And I finally says, you know, they actually made me go. I wasn't going to go. I said, guys, I, I, I don't know what this is. And I just thought, no, no, this can't be happening. This ain't what I think it is. This is just anxiety or something. But it was one of the most terrifying experiences, and it's very common, actually, to first-time panic attack or anxiety attack sufferers to immediately think they're having a heart attack. And I learned that from a nurse and my doctor, and he says, you know, it's so funny. He says, because, I mean, it's not funny, funny, you know what I mean, but it's like, it's like, Taking your car in, when the check engine light comes on, you automatically think the worst. Like, oh my God, the transmission's going out or something. Well, come to find out, it's usually just like a sensor or oil change, whatever, right? Kind of like the same thing. He says, you know, we've had thousands upon thousands of people come in this facility. And he says, probably across the country, there's millions that, you know, they come in because they think something's really wrong. And just to get this clear, I mean, any doctor will tell you, if you really think something's wrong, come in and get it checked out because you don't know. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know the difference. I, I never experienced an anxiety attack before, so I had no clue what was going on. I thought that it was something very, very serious. So come to find out, I mean, I didn't drive myself in. That's one thing they tell you not to do. But I don't know if I can speak for any of you out there, but I, I was sharing this because I think it's a very important issue. Um, but that's just the thing. And, I, and it was so crazy because I did not think that they were that identical. I never, and he came in and... They, you know, they hooked all the machines up to me. They hooked, you know, IVs and shit. I mean, just all sorts of crap, right? Um, so the doctor comes in, and he's kind of got a grin on his face. And I said, well, what's so funny? And he goes, well, he says that you experienced something the classic millions of people do, and that's a panic attack. And I was like, okay. But I said, that it, it just freaked me and, like, stunned me, like, stopped me cold in my tracks. I said, I had a panic attack? And he's like, yeah. I says, well, I looked it up on the internet and everything I was describing, it t told me right away it was my heart, you know? And he said that, and he says, I think I can speak for probably millions of people here too. That is the first mistake we do, is when we have a health problem, we automatically want to run to the internet. I, I guarantee you right now, when you're done watching this video, go on Google right now and say chest pain causes, and what's the first thing it's going to tell you? Heart attack, at least one of the first things. But I guarantee you, within the first five articles, it's going to tell you it's a heart problem. And which, of course, the common symptom, of course, for heart problems is indeed, in fact, chest pain. So now women, it's way different. I don't know what it's like for women, but women get like way more mild symptoms like heartburn, flu-like symptoms. I mean, it's very, very hard to tell. Men usually know, like the doctor said, men usually know what's going on. But even men, sometimes it ain't crystal clear. And the first thing he says is denial. That's the first problem people get is when they're having these symptoms it's denial. They're like, nah, nah, this ain't happening, you know? So I've, uh, I got no history of heart disease in my family, unless it's like really, really distant. I have an uncle who had a heart attack last summer, uh, 4th of July, coincidentally. Um, and one of my aunts, one of my, my aunt's dad died from a massive heart attack when he was 52. So I guess it kind of runs in the family a little bit, but nothing, as far as I know, nothing on my mom or dad's side. So um, so I figured, uh, I would just tell you guys what's going on there. Um, just to, you know, but like I said, please, if you, if you really think something's wrong, we're almost 10 minutes into this video. I mean, you, you, no, it's not good. So if you think something's wrong, stop the video and go to the hospital. That's all I can tell you because that's what I did. I mean, I, I mean, and come to find out if the long, as long as I waited, I mean, I could have had a serious problem, but, uh, cause the, um, they always tell you time is muscle when it comes to heart. Like I said, I'm not into that medical stuff really good, but uh, 
I will tell you this, no offense to any nurses or doctors, I think the medical system takes advantage of the public majorly. I think, um, because here's, you get, you get, people don't understand this. It's like, okay, the reason the internet tells you everything, the worst case scenario, it's because, guys, think about it. Hospitals couldn't be in business if they didn't have patients, right? So I think, you know, and I'm not saying doctors are bad. Or, I mean, I got a wonderful doctor. I got a wonderful family doctor. I got nothing against doctors or anything. But I think a, there's some of them out there. I mean, it's like anything, man. It's like a used car salesman. It's like a you know, a mechanic. I mean, there, you get a, you're going to have a couple out there that are crooks and take advantage of the system. So, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. But uh, anyways, guys, I know football season's coming up. Preseason's coming. The Bengals are playing uh, Friday night or tomorrow night, actually. Well, today. T today is Friday. Okay, but uh, I, I don't know. That's a different video. I don't even want to get in that subject. I can't stand. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I've been debating whether I'm even going to do football this year. I mean, I really have. I'm getting, in, I'm getting into the NBA, to be quite honest. I mean, the more I watch NBA, the more I like it. So, and I used to be a diehard, diehard NBA fanatic. I'd watch it every Chicago Bulls game there was back when Michael Jordan was around. But ever since he kind of left, I just, I just, man, this humidity is just unbelievable. And it's, it's 75 degrees outside, and it feels like it's 105. So very unnormal for this time of year up here. So anyways, guys, I'll be back with more videos. I'll let you know about football picks. I, uh, who am I kidding? I'll probably do them, but I ain't going to like it, you know. But you guys like them, so. All right, take care, guys. Take care of yourself. I know I'm just the pot calling the kettle black, but seriously, just be aware of them symptoms and just get, get help right away.